you can count down three, two, one, clap. Okay. Three, two, one. I'm Elsie, I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I'm a student assistant here at the center. Hi everyone, I'm Caleb Sun. I'm a student assistant here at the LGBTQ Student Center. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm a senior studying in psychology. Hello, my name is Ranisha Dennison. Um, I go by the pronouns she, her, hers, and I am the graduate assistant here at the center. Hi everyone, I'm JP. I use he, his, him pronouns. I'm the administrative assistant at the LGBTQ Student Center. Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa Kanya. I'm the assistant director at the LGBTQ Student Center. I use she, her, or they, them pronouns. Hello, my name is Dr. Gisela Vega, or Dr. V, for those of you who are here at the U. Um, I use she, her, they, them pronouns and I currently serve as the director for the LGBTQ Student Center here at the University of Miami. It takes some time for me to like warm up to people, so like if I come off as kind of like standoffish or, um, you know, kind of like quiet or a little awkward around you, it, I'm sorry, that it just takes a bit of time before me to kind of get comfortable around pe new people. Okay, so my favorite pizza toppings are basically Hawaiian pizza, which is just pineapples and ham, and then I can also go for pepperoni. Um, so my favorite pizza topping is pretty much anything with veggies, because I'm vegetarian, so cheese first and foremost, and then I always love a good margarita pizza or broccoli, to be honest. When I was younger, I wanted to be like an inventor, like an entrepreneur and go on Shark Tank. My dream job was to be a nurse working with um, children and babies. Um, I was always passionate about going into the medical field and I enjoy working with children. Oh my goodness, my dream job. Well, I used to tell my mom that I wanted to be Jacques Cousteau's assistant. Um, so for those of you who don't know who that is, I know there may be some of you who might not know who that is, Jacques Cousteau was um, an amazing oceanographer um, who actually invented the Aqualung. When I was younger, he had a show on television where every week I was transported to um, a different world under the sea and I got to see some incredible images and it just felt so, you know, serene and it was beautiful. And I, I realized that's where I developed my love and passion for the ocean. And uh, yeah, I wanted to become an oceanographer. But unfortunately, the science was not my forte. So um, oceanographer became a bust. <laughs> um, this semester affected me um, in a way where I am Zoom fatigued. <laughs> um, I it was try it was difficult trying to transition and doing online classes because that's something that I'm really not good at because my attention span. Um, but overall, like it's been a it's been an okay semester. Uh, the center has given me a place to just like work hard and really like be myself and have like a physical place where I can do that and it's you know hard because of COVID to have like places like this that are still open. Um, I generally feel like the center has helped me grow because I was able to speak to different people, speak to different personalities and I was able to grow outside out of my shell a little bit so I think that next semester there will be a, a lot more room to grow too. My greatest challenge this semester probably would be the fact that now that I can take classes online via Zoom, I have to worry about being distracted a lot more. Um, and because like, I could easily just switch tabs off of like Blackboard or switch windows from Zoom and just start doing my own thing and just start like not paying attention in class. So it, it's, it's been a struggle. Thankfully, uh, some classes are recorded on Zoom, 
so if I do end up like missing something, I can just go back and re-view it. But definitely that's been my biggest challenge this semester. So I would say the greatest challenge has just been finding a good balance of events to do. Obviously we've had to kind of pivot for the virtual world. So having that balance of in-person events, but also getting people to attend Zoom events has been pretty challenging. I know a lot of folks are struggling with Zoom fatigue. So even though we're trying to have virtual events to help people stay connected, I think a lot of folks are just feeling super out of it so yeah I think for me the greatest challenge has been um, adapting our systems and programs and services to the new the new way of doing things um, you know not being able to be in in spaces with our students as we normally are um, you know, our programming's had to be completely sort of reinvented and, and um, reimagined. So for me, it's been uh, a challenge, but at the same time, it's been great to see that we've still been able to do some amazing programs and events, and we still are in contact with our students. Um, so that, I would say that that was it, just reinventing ourselves and how we provide services. My favorite event has definitely been the open mic night that I organized and had a really good turnout, a lot better than we expected. So, and yeah, we're hoping to have another one in the spring. So I'm excited. <laughs> my proudest accomplishment was most definitely stepping out of my comfort zone as far as in programming. Um, I've done a lot of programming this semester and the big one that I am proud of is the student leader highlights. Um, that's just becoming a big thing now and I'm proud to give students their opportunity to let students and others know about their what they're doing on and off the campus of UM. So although it's still in the works, next semester we're going to have a second open mic night because of the awesome turnout that we had this semester. So next semester we're hoping for an even bigger turnout. So I'm excited for that. Next semester I'm super looking forward to Pride. So I started my position in June 2019. So I missed Pride in 2019. Obviously I started after and this year Pride was canceled because of COVID, so I'm super looking forward to Pride, whatever it's going to look like next semester. No guarantees it'll all be able to happen in person, but just in general, I'm super looking forward to the festivities and all the events that will happen that month. Alright, thank you. Yay. Alright, and then last question. What do you want to see happen next semester at the center? Oh my goodness, what do I want to see happen next semester? So much. I think um, continue to see our students stopping in, checking in, saying hello, continue to help our students who may be struggling with our, our current circumstances, um, you know, with COVID and everything. Um, and then I would also like to see us continue to evolve and challenge ourselves and, and how we provide services to our students. Um, and probably the biggest thing is to have another fabulous lavender celebration and uh, watch many of our amazing students cross the, uh, cross the finish line.